prop a shot time, guys. Pretty simple here. We're going to look at a couple different matchups. I'm going to give you a prop. You're going to make the pick. But yeah. first, first, a little shooting first here. you know, men shooting fake, uh, <laughs> fake basketballs badly from way downtown. I hit the Vikings one. That went all right. He hit he, 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 all the pressure on he, you. He hit real. Ooh, oh, trying to bank, bank it. Bank it. All right, try I to bank it. Call glass, though. He didn't call glass. I did. I would have called it after. Yeah, the bank's not open. <laughs> Texans at Titans. The Titans are favored by three and a half points. The over-under is 35 and a half. Lawrence, I'm going to warn you now, you are not getting any King Henry talk in this segment. Jay, let's start with you. That total of 35 and a half, which way are you going? Over-under? Going over. Seems a little low to me. Texans put up 24 well. against the Chiefs. I think that they will be able to move the ball against the bad Titans secondary. I think Derrick Henry will push this total over. Lawrence, you got Malik Willis over-under. A touchdown pass. So essentially, can he get to a touchdown pass? I'm gonna say nah. <laughs> I'm gonna say nah. Cause King Henry gonna rush for three. King Henry gonna rush yeah. for three of them things. So you know, over under 35, 21 points. So nah. certainly. Barry, Derrick Henry over under just 105 and a half rushing yards. Well, Lawrence Actually, told me he's going to 200. Yeah, exactly. I'm taking the over here, obviously, <laughs> again. No team in the NFL has allowed more rushing yards to running backs this season than the Houston Texans. He's gone over 200 yards in four straight against the Texans. So, yeah, give me the over on 100 and 5.5 rushing yards. I can't believe that's his line. I thought it'd be 10 yards higher. Uh, I did, absolutely. Will be I think it will be in yes, 24 yeah. hours. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, bet, it now. Now. Yeah. bet it now and bet it at BetMGM with a promo code Barry. Yep. Bengals favored by three, traveling to Foxborough, where the over-under is a little higher here, 41 and a half. Jay, Jamar Chase's over-under receiving set at 71 and a half. Feels a little low. Feels a little low. It's the scariest bet in football when we're going under on Jamar Chase. I think wow. back to what Bill Belichick did against Justin Jefferson on Thanksgiving, where he was double-teaming Jefferson. They were bracketing him, and Jefferson had to make some freakish plays to go over. So I think that Burrow has enough alternatives that Chase will go under. Lawrence, Joe Mixon's over under rushing yards set at 59 and a half. Where are you leaning here? Yeah, so he hasn't got this in a uh, under. He's been under 60 and four of his past six games. However, New England has given this up to running backs in three straight games. So I'm going to go over. Barry, you got Ramondre Stevenson. This is one of your summer favorites. Uh, over under 62 and a half rushing yards here. It's yeah. a tough Bengals front. A very tough Bengals front. And I'm actually going to take the under here on 62 and a half. Look, does he get into the end zone? Does he get some passing game work? Is he a viable starter this week? He is, but he's actually been under this number in four of the past five games. I think everyone's going to have last week's monster game against the Raiders in their mind when they bet this. But the Raiders ain't the Bengals. Right, Cincinnati has not allowed 60 rushing yards to a running back in three of their past four games. Damian Harris starting to practice. I think Damian Harris is active here as well. So give me the under 62 and a half rushing yards for Ramondre okay. Stevenson. All right, moving over to the Broncos, who are favored by two and a half points at the Rams. The over under at 36 and a half. My goodness, there's a lot of over unders in the 30s this yes. week. Jay. We'll get away from the total, though. Is there a side in this one that you're leaning with? Oh, yes. There's no better place to spend Christmas than in the warm embrace of Nathaniel Hackett. Broncos <laughs> cover two and a half. They blow out the Rams. My goodness. <laughs> Lawrence, with hearing that, you got Jerry Judy over under 63 and a half receiving yards. Where are you going with that one? Yeah, I'm going to hit this over. He's had at least 65 in three straight games. We still don't know the status of Cortland Sutton, which will even, you know, heighten the expectations for that even more. So give me that over. Barry will close this game out with Latavius Murray's rushing total set at 65 and a half. Seems crazy, but to me, it sounds like a no-brainer over for Murray. Yeah, 17 carries in three of the past five games. Rams have allowed at least 69 rushing yards to a running back in three of their past four at 65 and a half rushing yards. I'm taking the over on Latavius Murray. I'm on the Nathaniel Hackett yes. train with you, Jay. Yes. Scary Good place, Lord. Though. Let's go. Drive that train had like the train 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 to hell. Like Belmar and Louise, <laughs> yeah. final scene. Yeah. 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 That's exactly Right off the cliff into nowhere. Last game here, guys. Bucks at Cardinals. The Bucks, no surprise, favored by seven and a half points against Trace McSorley's Cardinals. Over under at 40 and a half. Jay, James Conner over under 17 and a half rushing attempts. Yeah, I'm going to go under, and it's a little bit scary because Trace McSorley's probably not going to have a lot to do, but they are seven and a half point dogs, and he has gone under two weeks in a row. Lawrence, we're looking at playoff Lenny, maybe playoff Lenny. Leonard Fournette over under 19 and a half receiving yards in this game. Yeah, so I'm going to hit the over. He's had at least 30 receiving yards in three straight games, 18 targets in that span. That's where he's getting his bread and butter right now. And they're playing the Cardinals. Give me the over easy. Barry, this last one, we're looking at the struggling Arizona defense against Tom Brady, who's over under touchdown passes is set at one and a half. Yeah, give me the over one and a half passing touchdowns for Tom Brady. He's had multiple touchdown passes now in four of the past five games. You, we know Mike Evans is getting one. I've already promised that as well. 
and only one team in the NFL has given up more touchdown passes than the Arizona Cardinals with Trace McSorley. I think the Tampa Bay offense is on the field quite a bit. It's a primetime game. Tom's going to, Tom's going to want to show off easy over one and a half passing touchdowns for TB12. Like it. If you like what you hear, we got good news for you. The action never stops with our friends at BetMGM. Sign up now using bonus code BARRY and your first wager is risk-free up to $1,000. Simply download the BetMGM app today or go to BetMGM.com and enter bonus code BARRY to make your first wager risk-free up to $1,000. That is not a picture of me, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. I want to be clear about that. It's That's not me either. <laughs> just in case I get it. it ain't me either. <laughs> That is Jamie Fox. <laughs> My that God. Is Jamie Fox. When we're back, it's last call. We're giving you our big bold predictions for the weekend. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, respectfully respectfully okay respectfully please subscribe to the nfl on nbc youtube channel for the latest nfl news fantasy headlines from rotor world and betting analysis from nbc sports edge